In the UK, blood clots amongst the hospitalised patients cause 25,000 deaths a year, approximately. And most of these deaths would be preventable if we were able to prevent clots. We now have wonderful drugs that would prevent blood clots. What we need is to be able to identify those patients that are at risk of developing blood clots when they come to hospital. At Queen's Hospital in Burton-on-Trent, Dr Ahmed and his team have developed an electronic risk assessment tool. This allows them to quickly and efficiently identify patients most at risk from blood clots by amazingly asking just two simple questions. The first question asks if there is a need for clot prevention, is there a risk to the patient of clots? And if the answer to that question is yes, the second question asks you if it is safe to give them the clot preventing medicines. Whenever a patient is admitted to hospital, they are assessed by a nurse armed with a laptop. I just want to ask you a few questions just to do an assessment on you. As well as all the usual assessments carried out, they now have the two new questions devised by Dr Ahmed and his team. There's a drop down menu which identifies what all the risk factors are. Um, any of those answered just means that the patient is indicated for thromboprophylaxis. You don't take warfarin, do you? No. You've not been coughing up any blood or noticed any bleeding? No. OK. Knowing from the patient's history and the most recent blood results, uh, we can select if they've got any contraindications to uh, low molecular weight heparin. All information added to the patient's file is instantly available to any other member of the medical team. The doctors, they can see on the prescribing page any order entries for blood tests. Uh, there's a few places where it will actually say that this patient's been risk assessed and that they need thromboprophylaxis prescribing. The information is hugely valuable, not just to doctors, but to pharmacists as well. The advantage of a shared system, which is what we've got, is that the, uh, the pharmacists can interact with the doctors and nurses more easily because they've got access to the instant access to the information, whether they're monitoring down in pharmacy or on the ward. So it's a communication tool between the different professionals. The key, I think, this tool is it actually is built into the operational process. The doctor and nurse has to go through and do the assessment to get to somewhere else in the system. To our knowledge, this is the first electronic tool for this purpose and being an electronic tool it is foolproof. The problem with paper-based uh, models are that we can easily misplace those papers and it's very difficult to audit them and know how well we are doing. An electronic tool for this purpose therefore offers you perfection, not only ensuring that nobody would be missed but the auditing and policing of that work is very easy. The new system has been devised with input from consultants, junior doctors, nurses, pharmacists and IT support. So it's truly been a multidisciplinary effort. This tool has been a great innovation, not only in what it is able to do, but, but also in how we've approached it. For example, in this trust we believe in nurse empowerment. In fact, we have encouraged the nurses to lead on the use of this tool. Every patient who is admitted needs to have this risk assessment. It's very easy for the staff to use and it has proved that we can reduce the incidence of patients developing thromboembolism. This system silently ensures that the professionals, be it a nurse, be it a doctor, will have to do that risk assessment at a very early stage. So in my view, preventing clots offers us one of the greatest opportunities to save human life.